hey guys this morning i was going through my skincare stash kind of organizing things and i have a ton of duplicates especially of cleansers because what happens is i buy stuff that i love and then a lot of times the brands will send me a pr package that has the same thing so i end up with like duplicates and i like to go through my skincare stash you know every couple of months and just kind of declutter that and whatever is unopened unused that i have duplicates of i like to take and donate to a shelter so i have some goodies that i've collated here i got duplicates um, of both the cetaphil cleansers the daily facial cleanser and the gentle skin cleanser these are the new reformulations i have some already that you know are unopened so there's no reason for me to have four unopened things of Cetaphil cleanser. So I'm gonna donate those. And then I also have duplicates of these and I really love them. So it's the moisturizing lotion. This has sunflower seed oil in it, which is a good emollient. It also has avocado oil and niacinamide. So this is a good moisturizer for, you know, obviously the body. You can try using it on your face. It's actually pretty lightweight. And it's really good because it has niacinamide. That's a good ingredient for people who have hyperpigmentation on body sites because it tends to help the moisture barrier and not be irritating. That being said, some people do find niacinamide burns and stings. But anyways, I really like this. I'm going to send that on its way. And then this newer, um, I think it's a reformulation. It's a thicker lotion. It has shea butter, panthenol, and sunflower seed oil. This also has niacinamide. So either one would be really good for, you know, dry, irritated skin, prone to hyperpigmentation. If you have dry skin that you describe as ashy, these would be really good moisturizers for you. Y'all know this is a holy grail product for me, and I have not one, not two, but three tubes of it, plus another unopened sealed tub, plus a tube that is active and open in my bathroom. So this is a brand new sealed container oven. I love this. It's got hyaluronic acid, which helps pull water into the top layers of the skin, just kind of giving a plumping effect, but it's also a petrolatum ointment. So it really seals in hydration. It's great for chapped skin, lips, eyelids. I mean, you've seen me use this for years now. Um, but what I was going to tell you guys is the tube, when you first get the tube of this, comment below if you've had this experience. It is hard as stink to get this product out of the tube. It's like really, really thick. Once you make your way through a little bit of it, then it starts to flow a lot more readily. Um, but yeah, I think the tub is a nicer option because that tube, man, it is tough. Then this is a favorite cleanser of mine. I have so many cleansers, you guys, and only one face. <laughs> um, I have a duplicate of this. It's the Avino Calm and Restore Nourishing Oat Cleanser. This whole Calm and Restore line, two thumbs up. I love the Oat Gel Moisturizer. This is a really basic, gentle cleanser. That, that's a great one. Also, this is a great product from Avino, their Restorative Oat Repairing Cream. I have two of these. I love it so much. And I also have two of their body washes, one of my favorite body washes, but I'm gonna go ahead and send this on its way. It's got um, glycerin, dimethicone, oat flour, and this line, the restorative skin therapy line, it was tested on oncology patients undergoing uh, treatment for their cancer. And uh, you know, as a result of those treatments, their skin becomes very sensitive, easily prone to irritation. And this was well tolerated by those individuals. So basically it's, it's a good moisturizer for sensitive skin. And then I don't really shave because I had laser hair removal on my, under my arms and on my legs. Um, but I think it was Amazon sent me these razors. So definitely those are helpful for shaving. I'll send those as well. And whenever I get PR packages, sometimes they throw in these little you know, promotional kind of things with branding on them. <laughs> Lately, they've sent towels frequently, which I think is a good thing actually to throw in like a little washcloth or a hand towel. I think that's really useful as opposed to a tote bag. Um, washcloths are one of those things that everybody can use, but um, including people, you know, in a shelter definitely can use washcloths. So I'm going to send this one from my favorite AG1 Athletic Greens. This is the daily nutritional drink I take. It's basically my multivitamin. Anyways, I'm gonna send the towel on its way. So yeah, I'm gonna take this stuff today and I think I'm gonna go run some errands. So I thought I would share that with you. 
Well, hey guys, I'm on my way out to run errands. I just filmed a video it, with you, I guess with you, for you. <laughs> Should be up at this point. I think maybe I'll go up on Friday, so the Friday before you're watching this video, if I play my cards right. I wonder where that, well, I guess from gambling, that's where that saying came from. <laughs> Anyways, the video is on my unpopular opinion that skincare is not necessarily meant to be pleasurable. You know, a lot of people just view skincare for utilitarian purposes, and I really think that's what its intention what it is intended for. Sure, you can enjoy it and it can be a form of self-care, but it doesn't have to be. It can just be, it can just be a thing that you do as a habit to keep your skin healthy. Uh, anyways, I am on my way to the Croge and I just noticed on Ibotta some things that I normally get are on Ibotta. Ibotta is a rebate app I, I use. I highly recommend it, mostly for the fun aspect of it. Basically, they'll have certain offers on there that, like, if you buy that item and then you submit your receipt, you can get a rebate. I think they even have a way to do it online now. I'm not that high tech though I just keep doing it on my phone instead of like on my desktop but um, you can get like I don't know two or three dollars back depending on the things that you buy I end up getting like two or three dollars back but I think if you buy a lot of things that well I don't buy <laughs> you can end up getting a lot more it just depends on your shopping habits but it's totally free and I've been using it for years and then the other the other shopping app that I use is um, the Drop app. That I use a fair amount as well. I end up using that like... Uh, okay, I'm here in Target, long. you guys, and check it out. Blogilates has... I knew she had a line of stuff in Target. And I think I remember when she came out with these. Um, but I love this mat, this yoga mat. Vegan suede. It looks really nice. Feels good too. It's like good quality. And they've got weights on sale, 20% off. I have an eight pound set of weights that I've had for a long time and that's like kind of the max weight that I do. But I sort of would like to get a set of like three pounds. I would love to get a set of three pound weights though for walking or two pound, just really light not overdo it that obey fitness platform that i have been subscribed to now for a month i am loving it in fact now that my tree is down i'm gonna pull out my rebounder because they have rebounder workouts on there you guys so i'm gonna want i think i might pull out my rebounder set it back up now that my tree has been put in storage what is that? Sauna? Nobody in Houston needs a sauna vest. Seriously, like, you, you, you don't need a sauna vest. If you live in Houston, this is a public service announcement that you do not need a sauna vest. Just go outside in July. Speaking of July, the TARS already has pool floats, which, oh, that looks like fun. The giant rainbow sprinkler, that looks like a ton of fun. That looks like it would be really fun too for a dog, you know, because they always have the, they always get, I always see people getting like kiddie pools for their dog to splash around in. Doesn't, I think a dog would like that. Maybe not. Maybe they'd, they'd like freak out with the spray in their face or something. I'm not a dog. That is something I never have tried before is skateboarding. Likewise, I've never tried snowboarding. I think skateboarding and snowboarding, they would take a lot of balance and core strength. I mean, I lived in Colorado for a long time, for a good chunk of my life I lived in Colorado, but funny enough, all the years I was there, I didn't ski that much because it's expensive. And it's also, I lived in Denver and then in areas of Northern Colorado. And it's kind of a, a hassle to get up to the mountains if you're not like all set up and everything. So 
I didn't go that much and I kind of regret it, but I'm glad I went the times that I did. Colorado is beautiful. Why aren't we over here? Taco cart? Oh, that's adorable. That was laying in the aisle and I just tripped over it and it started lighting up. <laughs> Ooh, check out the bubbles. Ah, uh, weren't we just chatting about my budget-friendly fitness watch here? I wish this was still available on Amazon because I've had it now. I think I've had it for a year and I've been so happy with it. It's pretty accurate, I would say, as far as the counting of my sleep and stuff. And it syncs with my um, Google Calendar, so it'll, bu it'll give us gentle buzz, nudge reminder when it's time for me to go do something that I'm scheduled to do, which I really appreciate. And it was like 20 bucks. Granted, it's not the coolest looking thing, but it's competitive with these Star Wars kids ones, <laughs> as far as the style. Now that's kind of cool looking. Yeah, like these are not that much cooler in appearance in comparison to my Lintelac knockoff here. We're at 14,510 steps, you guys. Ew, we have some craft kits here. This looks like fun, the Scribble Scrubby. What is this? Color and clean adorable little pets. That seems like fun. Because if you mess it up, you can just wash it off. That's gratifying. You can take more risks. Wouldn't that be great if all of life were like that? You could just wash it off. <laughs> They have mini kits of it that you can get. This one comes with like a little tattoo chair. Oh, I get it. Like a tattoo parlor for an animal. That's kind of odd, but whatevs. These are sort of cute. I would have enjoyed this as a child. Who am I kidding? I would enjoy it now. Oh, they're fruit scented too. So you can make this cat smell like a banana. Mondo Llama. Those are like nice coloring pen, like nice uh, markers. Ooh, they have a tie-dye kit. That's a gratifying craft. I wanted to see if Target carries that Lola coffee, which they don't appear to, because I am rather enjoying that stuff um, that a viewer sent me for Christmas. It is so good. Apparently, I said in a prior video I thought it was from Savannah because this is Lola Savannah, but it's from Houston. I felt so dumb for not knowing that because I live here and all under a rock, apparently. Um, but yeah, I'm not seeing it here. Is this Blue Island coffee any good? I think I've had this before, and if I recall correctly, it was pretty good. I was on the fence with Blue Bottle. Like, it wasn't bad. I've had it before. I've had it, like, in the actual... I've had it in San Francisco, because I think that's where it originated. And, um... It was good, but I didn't think it was worth the hype. I want to try the Stump Town. I hear that's good. Holler Mountain Cleaning Caramel. It looks like somebody popped into that one though. $8.99 for Pete's. For Pete's sake. Check it out, you guys. Lucky Charms Giant Marshmallows. Those are cute. Puchow? I've never heard of that. Is that like a knockoff to Haichu? Comment below on if you've had these. Do they have gelatin in them? They do. Well, you guys, didn't expect to spend that much time in Target. It's like almost dark now. I feel like we were in there all day. Um, I say almost dark, but though it's kind of cold out and it almost is the, it, the sky almost looks like it's gonna snow, but I know that's not gonna happen. As exciting as snow would be, given what happened in February of 2021, I do not want to, I don't want to, I don't want to walk down that path. I was so lucky to not have been affected by that. I don't know how I got so lucky. I, it, was, it was like I was in a little, in a little insulated bubble. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, last year, Texas like froze. You know that saying, when hell freezes over? It literally happened. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I love Texas. But it's hot as Hades here, at least in Houston. So it was, it was like, it was like that expression. So yeah, and so it was so bad because we we're just not equipped for that, that people's pipes froze, burst, we were all, like, people were without power for days and days. I mean, it was bad, really bad. 
Um, the power grid like went out. It was it was not good. For whatever reason, I was not, my apartment was not impacted. My apartment unit, I should say, was not impacted where I actually live. Oh, I hate it when I turn this way because it takes me this way that I don't want to go. So now we're just going to turn here. This person behind me is probably going to be like, what is she doing? Anyways, yeah, some apartments actually in my complex, in my building, I found out were impacted. Like the pipes burst and they had flooding and stuff. Thank goodness that did not happen to me. I don't know how I got so lucky, you guys. See, like, I don't know how I get so lucky and things like that. Like, I was not impacted whatsoever by Hurricane Harvey either. Like, there was flooding on the street near where I lived at the time, but not my, my little neck of the woods. Did not have any problems, no power loss. I mean, yeah. Comment below if you live in Houston, were you impacted by Harvey? I know a lot of people were, I mean, some people's, I think at the time I remember people commenting that their house flooded. Someone commented, I don't know if they still watch, um, that their house flooded and they were in relatively good spirits too. I remember reading their comment and being like, how are you not like freaking out? They left like a comment like, we're just happy to be safe and you know, this is replaceable. I was like, I'd be freaking out. I mean, yeah, of course we're happy to be safe, but like that is a lot to have to recover from. Anyways, so if you're still watching and your house flooded, or if you're newly watching and your house flooded, let me know how did that all work out? And how many years later is it? I know some people are still awaiting the uh, support they were supposed to have received from that. Let me know. Oh, so I'm wearing that, uh, what's it called? I'm wearing the Rodeal skin tint. I love that. I have it on over my sunscreen, but it's all inside my mask. So there's that, but it's still on my face. Some of it's still on my face. I mean, under the mask, it's still on my face. I have to say, now that the temperature has dropped, this little turtleneck that I got from the Amazonian, it's Calvin Klein, by the way. They don't have this color anymore, but they have it in red currently. I'm sure they'll get this color back in stock. You know how Amazon is. They seem to get things back in, if and when they ever run out of stock of things. Uh, but the, this sweater is actually really comfortable and it's it's pretty well made. I've washed it a few times already. Speaking of Amazon, I want to go on Amazon and look for some containers that are like stainless steel and block out the light because my pantry is getting a little bit a little bit batty in that I'm really into the spirulina powder and I recently got moringa powder, which I've also been into putting into smoothies. And so I have those in the pouches that they come in. I'd like to be able to decant them into like stainless steel containers. And I also would like to get one for my coffee um, to put that in so I don't have that, you know, floating all around and everything. It's all organized and what have you. And I think stainless steel would be a good material. So I'm gonna look on the Amazonian because there's that brand that makes kitchen-y kind of containers called Ogi. I bet they would have something like that. So I'm gonna look for that, I think, when I get home on the Amazonian. I didn't see any in Target, actually. I, went, I was looking while I was in there. Um, I don't know, Target, I enjoy going in there and shopping, but I've said this to you guys before. I just don't feel like there's anything in Target lately in the past few years that I have to have. I used to go in there and Target, I would always be, you know, tempted by their clothing. I would buy a lot of my clothing from Target. It was always well made and everything. Back in the day when they had the Massimo stuff, I used to buy that all the time and it would last forever. It was good quality. It was like great for work. And I would get it too in the clear, you know, it would go on clearance. I would get it on clearance. So I'd get a really good deal. But over the past couple of years, I don't know, the patterns and stuff, they're just a little bit too, not for me. They look good on some people, but they don't look good with my, you know, my color tones. They just are not flattering. 
I did buy a dress last summer that I rather liked from the Knox Rose, I think it was called, was the brand. It was like sort of a boho vibe. And I don't really do the whole boho thing either. I, I don't know. But that particular dress I really liked. It was very comfortable. And I got a lot of use out of it. It was not inexpensive though. I think I paid like 40 bucks for it, which I guess is okay for a dress these days. But it was a little bit more than I wanted to spend. But I got a lot of wear and wear and wear out of it. And it's still good, you know. I'll wear it again as soon as the temperature hikes back up. Tomorrow I could wear it probably. Ugh. Kind of a chitty chatty vlog. I hope you all are enjoying it. Ugh. Oh my gosh. There is glitter everywhere in my bedroom because I took my trees down yesterday including the, you know, the ballet tree in my bedroom. And, you know, I had that ribbon on the tree or I had the ribbon on the tree with the pink and blue glittery polka dots. And that ribbon is from Costco. It gets glitter all over the place. So even though it was at last weekend, I washed my satin pillowcase. Well, a ton of glitter got all over it. And there's no way I'm laying on a swath of glitter because that's going to end up in my eye and god knows where else wake up looking like a looking like the tooth fairy so yeah i just noticed that not only is there glitter like all over the floor but all over all over like my pillowcase and how we got there who knows but hey that is a story of glitter it just it gets on everything anyways speaking of ugh, weird transition anyways <laughs> I don't know, speaking of what, I just finished um, this Dove hand soap. I've actually been using this for a long time. I, I think it was in a favorites video, the Deep Cleansing Hand Wash. It's really good. I, I've been keeping it, you know, it's my bathroom hand soap. It has coca metal probyl betaine in it, which is a mild surfactant. You know, the key with the hand washing is the amount of time you spend doing it. You want to be sure you're rubbing your hands together, like all surfaces for 20 seconds, actually. And it's not necessary to get a copious volume of soap. That can just end up drying out your hands unnecessarily. Make sure you rinse all of the soap off though. One thing that ends up happening is people get some soap residue left behind on their hands. They don't realize it, like they're in a hurry. It can get trapped under your rings and that actually creates a little nidus to break down the skin barrier on the hands and lead to hand dermatitis. So yeah, make sure you spend enough time rubbing the hands together, like get all surfaces really good, 20 seconds, rinse off in total. And then I recommend putting on moisturizer to your hands as frequently as possible, especially, you know, you're washing your hands a lot throughout the day. Um, it can really end up drying out your hands quite a bit. Anyways, you guys, uh, speaking of moisturizer, look at, I'm just plugging and chugging through this Aquation. I love it. I put it on my face. Works like a gem. Uh, it, it, you know, for me personally, I've really been enjoying it. But I see that at least the Kroger's in my area are keeping it well stocked. Um, switched over to my green Aquas hair towel. I like changing these up. I washed my I wash these every couple of days. I'll reuse one a few nights in a row and then swap out to another one and wash it. But these, as I said, my 2021 hair care favorites, game changer because they remove the majority of the water from your hair, like 99% of the water from your hair very, very quickly. And so that cuts down, that by cutting down on dry time, it really cuts down on frizz, breakage, leaves the hair healthier, shinier, glossier. You can use any microfiber hair towel though. You don't have to use the Aqua brand one, like uh, the OG one, what was it called? Turby Twist. And another brand that I really like, as a matter of fact, speaking of pillowcases, they, I have a satin pillowcase from them that I really like is Kitsch. They make some, I should try them out because I tried out, I've never tried out their hair, hair turbans, but I tried out, they make these um, super absorbent hair scrunchies that I think are particularly good if you have like long curly hair. Um, that because they absorb the water you know a lot of people like to just kind of put their hair up in a loose ponytail for a while I think I've tried those out there they're, they're really good but my hair is like too long for that and so it didn't end up really working out for me but those are good I need to try out their hair turbans see how they perform 
Anyways, you guys, I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here. I hope you had a great weekend whenever you're watching this. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. I just realized I was cut off. Bye.